Okay, here is the best sale of the weekend, and it's just some clip-on earrings. You guys might have seen this when I shared it to the Facebook group. Uh, the All right, do you guys recognize this one? Yeah, Mama and Baby sold. <laughs> this one just came out of our shop, Goodwill Hawaii right lot. Here. This one was so. Right here, I'm gonna be donating, re donating some shoes that just have been sitting for a while or don't bring me joy. So I've been doing that instead of like listing shoes, but these are like doing really well for me. These are unmarked, so the antique stores are not that I've gone to. This is, I've bought, I've gone to two antique stores where these have been underpriced, and then when I get home, they test as sterling or gold over sterling silver. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lilyworks, and hello, I am a uh, full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller. For any of you that are new, we do a lot of reselling vintage jewelry in particular on this channel. So if you like that kind of content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And this video is all about what sold over the weekend. This kind of just gives you a glimpse into what is selling for me over the week. There's a lot of things you can learn from these kind of videos, like what's hot in the market right now as far as jewelry, hard goods, shoes, belts, and things like that. So let's go pull some orders. Okay, you guys, here we are with the orders for jewelry going out. I'm pretty excited to show some of these to you, and a lot of them you'll recommend, or recognize, sorry, recognize, and then I've had my first lilyworksreseller.com jewelry sale, so yay for that one, and let's get into some of these bundles and jewelry sales. Um, I think this might be a viewer or subscriber because I had someone email me about this particular bracelet and they let me know what it was. I actually was just about to list it and I got this out of the jewelry jar for a dollar and right there, um, right there is a, a cartouche and it's like a H and a an I. And it, you, I guess you could mistake in it for like a T, but it says gold filled there. Yeah, so there it is. An H and an I, and then it says gold filled. So um, this one is by Harry Iskin, Iskin, I-S-K-I-N. This is a bangle. And some of the jewelry by Harry Iskin can go for a lot of money. So I did price this one a little bit lower than some that were out there because some of the stones are just, a, they're, they're not as bright as they should be. And it is a little bit of an older piece. So there's that like hinged bangle. And then we have the Revlon earrings. Actually, these would go so nicely with that bangle. This is uh, Revlon Genuine Austrian crystal, new old stock studs. We have this West Germany uh, adjustable ring right here. We have the Arthur Pepper squash blossom. And it is marked ART on the back of the uh, pendant here. It's the full faux turquoise. We have this beautiful AB coated, um, like an ellipse shape uh, brooch. Kind of looks like pot metal on the back. Then we have the Pleak Azure, like totem or Kachina style earrings. And then we have this loft uh, necklace. And I think that loft makes really good quality necklaces. Uh, not quite vintage yet for th their pieces, but. Um, I believe that it will be future vintage, like costume jewelry, because it's still well made. So this bundle sold for $139.14. My cost of goods was around $9 for these pieces. Again, people who typically buy bundles on eBay for me, I like will refund them the shipping. I don't know. Bundling is just still kind of difficult. I have a coupon code on there, so a lot of... People who buy bundles on eBay use the coupon code 
for um, three or more items and then I will like refund the shipping. So that might be why it would say refunded on the screen. If you guys see my order, it will say refunded. That's just because I'm refunding their shipping difference. All right, do you guys recognize this one? Yeah, mama and baby sold. <laughs> this one just came out of our shop Goodwill Hawaii lot. This one was so exciting. I think it was in the thumbnail. It's marked Quinn. There's another brooch out there by the maker Quinn. Not as cute though. This person, whoever bought it, probably a subscriber because I actually had a couple people asking me after this uh, sold if it was still available. But this one sold full price, $39.99. Super adorable. Paid about around a dollar for it. All right, this one was on my Shopify store, my first jewelry sale. So this is my first actual label that I got to print out myself from my lilyworksreseller.com. And yay, I am so excited. I'm encouraging. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy jewelry from my videos, I have items linked below the video down here. You just click on those and it'll take you right to my store. Um, but this one was super exciting. So this like Las Vegas charm bracelet, I got at the antique store for $3.00. Going through the bin, sold for $24.99 on that website. Yay! Okay, next. And I should say, I've had other orders from that website, but they've been the um, print on demand. So basically, I just send the order to the printers, and then they ship it to the customers. But this was the first one where I had to figure out where I had a physical item. And yeah, it was really neat. Okay. We have faux turquoise rhinestone clip-on earrings, and these, I would say, look modern but could still be comfortable clip-ons for someone who, you know, can't wear pierced earrings or it's more comfortable for them to wear clip-on earrings. Uh, these sold for $9, and I paid $0.25 cents in a Shop Goodwill lot. We have these Aurora Borealis crystal clip-on earrings. These are just a... Uh, Staple piece for vintage jewelry, in my opinion. These sold for $11.99, and I got them in a jewelry jar for $0.50. Cents. All right, we have another bundle going out for $40. We have this, like, chunky, chain-wrapped, mixed-media, <laughs> faux pearl rhinestone necklace. I think this one is J. Crew, and then this one is Loft. This one is lovely. It actually has genuine stones and cat eye do you see the purplish gray cat eye right there also wood so both of these pieces i think are both future vintage going out for forty dollars and i paid around two dollars um in a shop goodwill lots then we have this double strand chain necklace i've been doing well with plain vintage chain necklaces this is like a double strand so one is a little bit shorter one is longer and I don't know what this chain is called, this type of chain, um, and because it's like um, kind of like a cross. I don't know. Interesting. But this one came in a shop goodwill lot where my cost of goods was around $3 a piece, which is kind of high, but it did sell for $14.99 on eBay. We have more like modern looking clip-on earrings. These are just rhinestone hoops, which is really interesting because your earlobe just goes right in that little U shape right there. These sold for $10 and I got them um, at the flea market for 50 cents. All right, here's another bundle going out for $51.99. The reason the bundle is so high for two clip-on earrings is because these dainty faux pearl earrings right here are crown trifari and the crown trifari is still doing really well for me especially pieces that are really well made and harder to find and then of course we have these monet clip-on earrings they're just simple diamond shaped drops and yeah my cost of goods for these was around three dollars i paid two at the antique store and then one at a shop good old lot this butterfly sold. It's the Canateal, I think that's how you spell or say it, Canateal, uh, filigree, sterling silver, big giant butterfly brooch. 
and I, ha I still have one more flower like this, I think, but these have been doing really well for me. These are unmarked, so the antique stores are not that I've gone to. This I've gotten, I've gone to two antique stores where these have been underpriced, and then when I get home, they test as sterling or gold over sterling silver. And yeah, this one sold for $60 and I paid $8 for that one. We have another polymer clay <laughs> cute kitten brooch going out. This is this is the one that was just like peeking out right there when we were when we were digging through the jewelry lot together. Uh, this one sold for $20. It's not marked, but I mean, it looks very similar to this one. It might be by the same maker, but $20 again, and I paid a dollar for that one. We have more faux pearl dangle earrings. These almost are exactly like the Crown Trifari, just a little bit bigger right there. Uh, these obviously didn't sell for as much because they don't have the name or the quality to the name to back it. Um, so these only sold for $11, but they're unmarked and I'm happy with that sale. I got these in a jewelry jar for 50 cents. We have another bundle going out. And these pieces, I would say, are all pretty modern. And yay. Okay, so we have two Leah Sophia. I don't do super well with Leah Sophia, I mean, it will sell, but not for a ton. I thought this one right here is was pretty cool. You'll be able to see it better on the screen when I put up the picture. Here's another like bluish tone Leah Sophia, like wide drop looking necklaces. Uh, this buyer also really liked the layered open circle like disc look because both of these Necklaces are very similar to that. This one, I believe, might have like words and stuff on the circles. And then we have this new old stock Reeve. Uh, this is like a faux oxidized patina tarnish. You know how like copper starts getting green? That's purposefully done on these. So new old stock. And I think I got almost everything yeah, I think I got everything in a shop good a lot, and um, this bundle sold for $40, which I'm so happy with because I feel like all these pieces individually are really hard to sell, so I'm glad that it's going out in a bundle, and my cost of goods was around $5. Okay, here is the best sale of the weekend, and it's just some clip-on earrings. You guys might have seen this when I shared it to the Facebook group. Uh, these are the YSL earrings, the Yves Saint Laurent. It does say made in France um, on a little square right there. Made in France. These did not take long to sell. They actually sold on Etsy and they did use my coupon. I think it was for 15% off. So it ended up being $231.63. I paid up on shipping because I wanted to insure it. Uh, making my earnings 22 they're $222.46. I paid $3.99 for these. I went back to the Salvation Army where I had picked these up and I showed the girl who was with me when I purchased them and she was saying that um, she wished she had more time to research jewelry um, so that she could do that too because she was that was really exciting for her to see and she said that someone actually had recently come in, uh, bought a a ring that was ugly in her opinion, and it ended up, ended up being for like worth over a thousand dollars. So yeah, and yeah, that one was a really great sale. This one is going to one of my YouTube friends, Hannah, at Flirt. <laughs> Flirt. Hannah, I think we need to change your name. I can never say it. I'm just kidding. That's selfish. <laughs> you don't, don't change your name because I can't say it. But I will put her channel up on the screen. Fleur de Montagne or something. I can say Fleur because my daughter's middle name is Fleur. <laughs> my first daughter's or my firstborn daughter's name. And so she got this check tassel uh, necklace. It, there was so much verdigris on it and I rescued it. <laughs> um, I'm so happy because it is a stunning piece. It is double-sided. Wow. And I don't think anybody has seen this like as like an un 
boxing or, or unjarring because I've had it in my to list or to repair bin forever. <laughs> and so I finally listed it. I'm so glad this is going out to her. And then she probably saw this um, on that Hawaii jewelry unboxing. And of course, it looks stunning. Like even from here, it looks stunning. But then obviously up close, we saw that there is a chunk out of the amethyst glass. Very Art Nouveau, glorious, beautiful, like a repose, like um, hammered through the back to make the design in the front. Very beautiful. So both of these complement each other really well. And she bought this on Poshmark um, for $61.60 and my cost of goods was around $2 for these. This is a 70s owl. This one definitely, there's a lot of like reproductions for this particular owl that's modern, but this one does have the spring ring clasp and the quality is heavier and just the matte gold texture. You can tell that it's it's like an original 1970s owl. Uh, and this one was actually in my collection upstairs. I liked it because the owl was just giant like compared to a lot of owls so I wore that once sold for $14.99 and I paid a dollar fifty in a neighbor's uh, jewelry buyout we have these that were also in my collection Coro doesn't sell for a ton of money but these are just so cute and I did um lower the price for this buyer because she has the necklace and she has been looking for the earrings these are so rare in my opinion with the pink enamel purple flower i don't know it looks like corn it's adorable marked coro excellent condition these sold for 26 i originally had them listed for 35 and so after shipping my earnings were 22.19 and i paid a dollar in a shop good a lot and then the, this, I it sold so fast that I wasn't even able to upload it into my Vendu crossed listing app. Um, also, I'm just going to put a little plug in here. If you guys don't have Vendu and you are cross listing, I highly recommend it. It pays for itself, honestly. You guys see, like I start off with listing on eBay, use my cross listing app, and you guys see that I have sales from all these different platforms and it only takes a little bit more time than just listing on eBay using the Vendu app. So you can use my link down below uh, to sign up for Vendu. And yeah, so like I am making sales on Etsy and I'm making sales on Poshmark and Mercari and it's just awesome. So uh, this is a sterling silver bib holder for baby and it has these ducks. There is not this particular set up on eBay. There's other ducks or storks that are out there, but this one's a really interesting puffy uh, chain. And so I priced this one a little bit higher than um, I would say most that are out there. And it sold right away for $29.99. And I paid $3.75 at the antique store that I just went to, came home, recorded the video, listed, and it sold. So that's how fast that went. So I will put my earnings for jewelry up on the screen. Okay, we have belts and accessories. And by accessories, we have wallet, gloves, tie, <laughs> more ties. Ooh, this has been a good weekend for ties, you guys. All right, so speaking of which, we have a bundle of McDonald's ties going out. Uh, these are actually manager ties. There's a red one and a blue one. And I think these were like 2013. They are marked on the back. I don't know why. <laughs> now that I have them and now that they sold, I'm realizing they don't fit into like the, they, that like they bring me joy <laughs> type of selling strategy. Uh, so yeah, but I'm glad that they sold. And sometimes that happens where you're just like, oh, that will make me a profit. Someone will love that. <sighs> yeah, I kind of want to stick with my like, you know, selling fossil and vintage stuff and uh, whatever. So anyways, these sold $21.99 and I picked them up for a dollar each at Salvation Army. All right, next we have gun metal belt. Where is that one? Who's here? Where did we put it? All right, I don't know where I put the gunmetal belt, but um, I'm going to have to find that. 
and I'll put it up in the screen for you guys. It is just another chain belt. I do well with chain belts. Got it in a neighbor's lot for $1.50. I think that this neighbor had a bunch of chain belts because I think she used to buy a lot of like jewelry bags and jewelry jars um, because I bought a bunch of jewelry from her. And you guys, if you find a really long chain that has like a hook at the end or something and you, you know, you quite think, oh, this might be a belt, list it because chain belts do really well. So this one sold for $19.99, paid $1.50. Uh, we have the metal snake belt. Here we go. This is like stretchy, but it has like these snake scale looks. This is really fun with the different uh, tones of metal. Sold for $13 and I paid 50 cents at the Goodwill bins. We have this high quality vintage fossil belt and it is a bifold. So it just opens once. And it has that magnetic clasp. I think it might have a checkbook holder. So if you're listing something like that, be sure to put all of those key terms in there because pe some people still use checkbooks check regularly. Some people really like just the bifold. Maybe they feel more secure. But definitely the fossil high quality leather is most likely what sold this. Sold for 35 on... Um, Etsy. After shipping, my earnings were $30.91 and I paid $6.99 at the Goodwill bins for this. We have the Mr. Slim tie. All right, now this is a tie that I do like for sure. Very fun, retro, probably 1970s knit tie. It does say Mr. Slim on the back end and it does have those really fun retro colors to it. So, um, yeah, and it's a slim tie too. So a lot of like vintage ties that you pick up might be like fatter and out of style, but some men, even like modern men really like that slim tie look. So this one sold for $21.25 on, after coupon on Etsy. So another Etsy sale. And I got this at Salvation Army for $1.25. All right. And then we have these orange gloves, which were, um, mistake, but I'm learning. Um, so I wanted to expand my accessories and sometimes I do sell gloves, but these took so long to sell. I didn't think they would take so long to sell because they're that 1960s, like orange color look, but they took a while. So these sold for $19.99 and I picked them up for $5 at the antique store. Yeah, hard to sell. So I will put my earnings for belts and accessories up on the screen. All right, shoes. Both of these shoes are not that interesting. I probably wouldn't pick them up again, but let's get into them. So we have the Jambu, J-A-M-B-U brand boots. Uh, this one is J Sport by Jambu. The reason I started picking up Jambu is because I would buy my mom that brand of shoes that was like one of her favorite styles was in the Jambu line or whatever. And they were very expensive. They were like $80 on line somewhere. Um, so I was like, oh yeah. And then when I first started picking them up like four years ago now, they actually did sell better. Now they don't sell as well. And yeah, so these finally sold for, let's see, $23 on Poshmark. I got them at the Goodwill bins for two. They're in excellent shape, but probably won't pick them up again. And then these, oh, I should not have picked them up. They are by the brand Braska, and I picked them up at the Goodwill bins as well for around $3. I felt them and they're like, oh, I'm like, oh, these are high quality. When you're picking things up at the bins, you can take risks because your cost of goods are so low. These are really nice like a new buck suede, like all genuine leather. Uh, they're by the brand Braska. So I was like, oh, when I get home, I'll look that up. Um, they ended up being like a size six or something, like really small. Sold for $22 and yeah, paid three. Um, so there's my shoes. I haven't been listing shoes in a really long time. Again, I've been rearranging my workroom. You guys want to see, I'm actually getting rid of a bunch there's some craft jewelry right there but I have these bins right here or I'm gonna be redonate redonating some shoes that just have been sitting for a while or don't bring me joy so I've been doing that instead of like listing shoes 
So I'm like focusing more on like high quality shoes, Cole Haan, um, Aline, uh, Aline, Aline Fisher. Um, I don't know, just nice high quality shoes and and yeah, so I will put my earnings for shoes up on the screen. And if you're new to my channel, you don't know how I do it. I will put like my total for what it's sold for. Then I do minus the um, fees and I round everything up to 20%. Not all platforms are 20%. Poshmark definitely is 20% fee. eBay can be 20% if you're promoting your listings. Mercari and Etsy are not, they're like more like 13%. And then if we do the uh, district platform, that's going to be t only 10% for us. Um, but I round it up just so I'm covering my bases. So then I do minus cost of, cost of goods, minus the fees. And then you will see like my total profit. It's a little bit lower than what it actually is because on eBay specifically, you're actually making money on your shipping if you're not doing free shipping. Um, because say, say someone um, paid $12 to ship these boots, eBay might only charge me $9.50 because you get a discount when shipping. They want you to ship through eBay, not go on USPS's website to ship your stuff. They want you to ship from eBay. So they give you a little bit of a discount there. And that's also um, factoring in your cost of shipping materials and your handling time. So you don't have to refund your buyer. Like say uh, eBay charged them 12, you're charged 950. You don't have to refund them that extra bit in there because um, it's just going towards, you know, the cost of doing business as well. Um, so that's just kind of how I have been doing it. I hope that makes sense. And I will put my earnings for shoes up on the screen. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go package up these orders right now. I did want to mention a quick thing. I reached out to Vendu which is my crossed posting, cross listing platform. I highly recommend it. I heard it's the best on the market versus, I mean, there's like another one out there list perfectly. Uh, and I've heard that Vendu is the best. I've only tried Vendu because I've heard it's the best. And so I decided to invest in Vendu. Well, I reached out to Vendu, asked if there was any discount that was affiliated with my link down below. And they said that you could get your first month 25% off if you use my link down below. So uh, yeah, go ahead and click that link if you are ready to take your reselling business to the next level and easily start listing your items on multiple platforms. Right now I am on uh, Poshmark, then I'm on Mercari, I'm on um, Etsy, and I also am on Shopify with the store that's right down below. You can see a bunch of newly listed jewelry there and also the merch. And it's just really easy. You can also do other platforms like Facebook Marketplace, um, Tradesy, things like that. So I just thought I would throw that in there for you guys. But anyways, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below and make sure to like this video if I haven't already said that. <laughs> Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks and have a great week. Make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously. Bye guys. I want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel. And if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy, you can go to lilyworksreseller.com, click on the jewelry collection on the website, and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video. Also, if you want to see what I use for my business, you can click on the description below my YouTube videos. And as always, you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel. And also be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.